This is a 13 foot, $1,300 sign that I cut out on my home built four foot by three foot CNC plasma cutter. And I'm gonna show you exactly how right now. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, everything starts with a lead. And in this case, this guy was already a previous customer. So the last job I ran for him was actually pretty similar to this one. He wanted me to make him these end of the road signs while he's up doing landscaping jobs. Just his business name and his business phone number. But this time he had a monumental request. And to be honest, I wasn't even sure that I could take this job on. But then he had an idea that gave me a completely different mindset. You see, he's been out to my shop a few times and has saw the equipment that I'm working with. So this time he knew that the sign that we were going to make was going to be too big for the table. So he suggested that we split it up into tiles and then weld them back together afterwards. After we had the details hashed out, we had to try to reel this guy in with a decent price. So let's go over that. How do you quote something of this capacity? Well, I don't really know. <laughs> so I was kind of just winging it at this point. And the only tool that I had at my disposal was that CNC plasma pricing calculator that I showed you guys last video. So I just followed the same steps. First, we got his image and we uploaded that image into Inkscape. I did the trace bitmap on it and extracted the DXF. Once the DXF was extracted, I uploaded the entire thing to Sheetcam. Sheetcam allows you to take each individual DXF and move them around by themselves. So I went to go up to my job options, set my job options to the maximum sheet size that my machine can accept, which is a four foot by three foot. And then I just started playing with a puzzle basically, trying to fit shapes into the four foot by three foot sheet and just seeing what I could do. But right now I'm making a few guesstimations on overall sizes. And what I came to a conclusion of is that I would need approximately two full four by eight sheets to fit each part on here. After I had that information, it was time to come back up to the CNC plasma pricing calculator. First, open up the calculator. We are gonna go over to the raw material cost. I estimated that I needed to have two full sheets of material just to cut the parts out. I'm gonna be 48, whoops, by 96, and I'm gonna have two sheets. Each of those quarter inch sheets cost $271. I have a 10% markup for any mistakes that might happen or drops that I might be missing out on. The approximate design time I'm gonna estimate, so I'm just gonna put in an hour of design time there. The plasma cost doesn't really go up or down that much. Even if I throw some ridiculous number in there, like I'm gonna say 1,000 seconds and like 20 pierces or something. $8.14, nothing super crazy. There's no paint on this job, so we don't have to worry about that. Manual labor, so that's gonna be just basically deburring the parts from the slag. And I will put that at about a half hour. Plasma depreciation calculates automatically, and that's our material list. So let's go see what we're looking at. Job estimate sheet. This is a $1,135.94 with a 60% markup. 70% puts me at 1,275. 1236, I go up to 80%, 1269, 85. As you can see, you can play with these numbers a little bit. If you want a, a little bit higher margin on one job, you can bump it up if you want, especially since this is gonna be a little bit of a larger job and I might not be accounting for everything. $1,300, I think that's what I feel comfortable with. So let's go back to the customer and see what he thinks. Basically, I said, hi, Nick. I really appreciate your repeat business. And for the new Genko landscaping sign, I can do that whole job at a flat rate of $1,300. And there we go. We got the green light. So let's get this thing going. Okay, we just got our steel order in. So time to unload. I calculated out each one of these sheets is going to weigh approximately 125 pounds. That's like me taking Natalie and throwing her over the shoulder. I don't have a crane. Just gotta rely on these babies. Got that sheet loaded up. That actually went pretty smooth. Just basically dragged it across the top of the water table. I know some tables have those roller balls on there. That would really help. I don't have that on this one. So let's turn everything on and get the consumables swapped over because I don't cut thick material that often. So I have the fine cut consumables in there right now. Get this bad boy cranked up to 45. There we go, good. 
Okay, consumable are swapped over. Now we need to adjust the THC to 130 volts. So I have four programs I need to run for this one sign. So it's taking four four foot by three foot sheets of quarter inch steel. This thing's huge. Okay, first sheet just got done cutting. Cut out really nice, so I'm happy with that. But we have this big chunk here that I don't know if I'm okay with just throwing out. I feel like I should be able to cut out a few parts on there, maybe even some skid steer bucket parts. So I think I'm gonna try and cut that out manually. And then we'll load up the next sheet. Most annoying parts of this job is having to manually go and cut out the drop pieces. I think something that would make this much easier is if I had a second plasma cutter that was like a handheld torch. That way I could literally just grab it after it's done cutting and then slice things up. Yeah, not the end of the world to do that, but it's certainly annoying. I mean, this is a good sized piece. Look at that. Literally just boop. Oh, that one's a little harder, but. For some reason, the thicker material cuts way, way nicer. That's probably because it's traveling slower. But yeah, just barely sliding across, so I might not even take a wire wheel to it. It's really good. But man, this sign's gonna be huge. Look at that. It takes up my whole welding table, just the three parts. And there's like five letters in the name plus a leaf. Oh my goodness. Okay, another one. I just got done unloading a wagon of hay. My arms are a little tired. So we got sheet number two loaded up and started cutting the next job. And me being the manufacturing engineer I am, I wanted to see if I could keep my machine running while I was deburring the other parts. You know, that way I'm being more efficient. But I made a huge mistake. All of the little slag bits started to pile up on the table, so I thought it'd be a good idea to clean off the table with my air compressor, which was also running my CNC plasma cutter. So I guess I learned something new today. When the air pressure drops enough, the plasma cutter will just shut itself off. Okay, what I'm gonna try to do to recover this sheet, you think there would be like a pick off, pick up where you left off in GRBL, but to my knowledge, you can't do that. I can't surf, sift through the lines of code, see where that one messed up and just start from there. I have to run the entire program back from the start. So what I'm trying to do, remove the good parts that I have cut and then layer over some scrap 16 gauge steel. So the torch height controller still has something to read off of and it doesn't plunge. Is it gonna work? We'll find out. Okay, that actually worked, but I forgot to turn the THC back on after I cut out that drop piece. I think everything cut out fine, but the kerf is gonna be a little weird at points, which is not gonna be noticeable on a design like this. Just gotta stay focused. I don't know what's going on with me today, man. Just don't know. Two more sheets to go, and then we can get this done. This is the biggest piece. I have a lot of people asking me about, can I build a bigger machine than this? Yeah, you can build it as big as you want, assuming the mechanical properties. Are. But that's besides, if you don't have a crane or a forklift or something to get the material on here, I don't know what you're gonna do. I'm struggling as it is, and this is only a third of a sheet. After that last problem, everything else went pretty smooth. The only parts that I had to tweak on the design were the leaves. I had to do that because I couldn't fit the entire leaf onto one sheet. A quick deburr and the sign pieces were looking good. Super excited to show this to the customer. Before we end this, I'd like to touch base on the cost and profits for this job. I've received a few comments of people telling me I'm undercharging by quite a bit. And I don't necessarily feel like I am because I have the numbers to back it up and I'm a one man shop. But nonetheless, this job cost me $668.20. I charged the customer $1,300. So I made $631.80. I essentially doubled the cost. And for me, I'm satisfied with that number and more importantly, so is the customer. Let me know down in the comments what your guys' largest jobs have been so far and how you went about quoting those. I will have a few links in the description, one being for the CNC Plasma pricing calculator that you can purchase on my website, as well as a discount code for that Plasma Green. If you guys haven't checked out my last video yet, make sure you go watch that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.